to give yourself enough time to successfully design, review, print and present your poster. We suggest that you give yourself a time frame of four weeks to prepare in advance of the deadline. You should begin your design process with a paper prototype or mock-up using pencil and paper. For my large graphic of the human anatomy, I'm going to put it right past the margin to make it more interesting. OK, time to move on to the computer. The Guides tool, which exists in most drawing and design applications, enables us to create page margins and column gutters and allows us to align our content the way we want to. Similar to many newspaper articles and magazine columns, we lay our content in a way that lends itself well to the gravity of the viewer's familiar reading pattern, top to bottom, in each of the three columns. All graphical elements of our poster must have a resolution of 300 dpi. Lastly, increase your poster's visual appeal by adding relevant visual elements such as photographs, charts, tables and graphs. Why do we do all this? Well, we want to be unique creative and we want to stand out from the crowd.